Life can be scary sometimes. There's a lot of nasty ragamuffins out there looking to cause trouble, and that's why learning a little bit of self-defense is not a bad thing. Some people take that to the next level and might carry something with them to help them out in a scrap, but some of those tools have been deemed to have crossed the line. These are 20 banned self-defense gadgets that are too powerful. Number 20. The Medieval Mace War Club Zombie Weapon It's an inevitable truth. Zombies will someday rise up and claim all of our brains. So really, it's good that you're here watching this video, because aside from the possibility of losing brain cells to satiate the thirst of the oncoming horde, the most fit of you may actually survive after learning about this weapon in the fight for post-apocalyptic survival. The Medieval Mace War Club Zombie Weapon, aside from having a quite catchy name, invokes images of ancient battlegrounds, chainmail vests, and mythical creatures. Its design may be rooted in history, but the effectiveness of the weapon will no doubt be unquestionable once the dead rise and all hell breaks loose. With this club, you can feel like a medieval warrior while bashing the skulls of rotting corpses in, lucky old you. Or, you know, you can just use it along with all of your incel friends who love to LARP when they finally come up out of the basement for the first time that month. Surprisingly, you can actually get one for yourself at a reasonable price of just $35. And if you're on the fence about it, well, no worries. The company boasts a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So that's something then. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. In both of these images, you can see gadgets that one guy from Texas developed, all in the name of self-defense, but within days of revealing them to the world, both were made illegal, and he was not allowed to make any more or sell them. As you can see, both are pretty intense, and there were major concerns about everyday members of the public being allowed to walk the streets with these things. Man may have the right to bear arms, but not to design and sell bat poop crazy spring-loaded serrated knives, apparently. It's probably for the best. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. Black Spiked Knuckles Brass knuckles, also known to some as knuckle dusters, are banned in many places due to their potential for harm and the increased risk of violence associated with their use. Designed to be worn over the knuckles, they pack enough of a punch to even potentially take a person's life in the right situation. These things have been around in many forms ever since the 12th century, and even Abraham Lincoln's bodyguards used them while accompanying him along on journeys to and fro. The U.S. Army used them in various forms during the World Wars, and going into the late 19th century, they could be seen incorporated into the construction of pistols. However, they're also banned in a lot of places due to their lethality and the ease of concealment. Brass knuckles enhance the impact of a punch, making it more likely to do incredible damage, which includes irreparable damage and death. And aside from that, with their small construction, they're easily concealable, which increases the potential for surprise attacks and the misuse of force. Today, even just owning one of these melee weapons in some places can result in fines and imprisonment, though in the United States, the federal government has washed their hands of the subject, leaving it to the individual states to handle it. And as expected, much like the lax gun laws and other ridiculous failures of regulations across the board, brass knuckles can be purchased online at local gun shops, swap meets, and even from your crazy cousin Larry out in the Costco parking lot. Number 18. The Electric Taser Stun Glove Tasers are widely used by law enforcement officials all over the world. From the United States to Great Britain and beyond, these implements of detainment come in forms from small gun shapes to large rods that could knock down a cow. And I wouldn't be surprised if their origins were cooked up in the brain of someone using a cow prod to begin with. With time comes the evolution of any technology, and wherever someone creates something, there will always be someone else trying to one-up that person to be better than them. And that's why we have contests, trophies, and the Guinness Book. That's also why we have the electric taser stun glove. 
Touted as being a technological marvel for personal safety, it combines the innovation of shocking the bejesus out of someone with the practicality of self-defense, when one needs such a thing. The creators of these gloves say that they deliver a non-lethal shock to the intended target and simply confuse their nerve activity and muscle control. The aim being to provide a better self-defense solution than the classic old pepper spray or the legality that your grandma Ethel carries around in the form of a 37 Magnum in her purse. The only question is, what do you do in the summer when you need self-defense? Wearing these gloves about in only your surfing shorts and flip-flops? Well, that's surely a fashion faux pas, right? Number 17. The Dragon Fantasy Finger Blade Now, when you hear the name of this particular so-called weapon, a few things may come to mind. Perhaps you're a Game of Thrones fan, and this sounds like something that may have been a mythological weapon from the show or medieval times. However, you may have instantly conjured up thoughts of something far more perverted and adult that you saw when you had your browser in private mode during your alone time. I can assure you, though, that this weapon is neither of those things. The Dragon Fantasy Finger Blade is a unique and compact self-defense tool that's designed for personal self-defense and protection. Said to look like a dragon's claw, the small size and portability of this weapon make it easy to carry discreetly, providing any targets of nefarious individuals to get medieval on their ass with a quickness. Marketed as a tool for personal safety, it features blades that extend from the fingers for that complete and primal feel, while also protecting your 20-sided die when you're on your way to your Dungeons & Dragons meeting. The Dragon Fantasy Finger Blade is marketed as a tool for personal safety, appealing to individuals who appreciate its aesthetic while also desiring a compact and easy-to-use option for self-protection. Number 16. The Jaeger Mace the Jaeger Mace is an impressive melee weapon that has gained popularity amongst enthusiasts of historical and fantasy weaponry, while also boasting a unique design with modern craftsmanship. Its defining feature is the inclusion of a jacket or flanged head that is said to resemble that of the teeth of a fearsome creature or perhaps your Aunt Mabel's veneers. In fact, the flanges on the mace head serve as a dual purpose, enhancing both its visual impact and its effectiveness as a crushing weapon. The Jaeger Mace is a fusion of this historical styling and contemporary craftsmanship that's perfect for all of those historical reenactments or meetings with your best friends to argue which of the captains was better in Star Trek. Number 15. The Razor Whip Chain Despite seeming mythical in some respects, chain whips are nothing new when it comes to the world of weapons and self-defense. It's said that these forms of weapons date all the way back to the 200s and the Jin Dynasty in China. Chain whips vary in length, especially between North and South China, where they've been traditionally seen and used for close to a century. These blades are really menacing looking, but if we look closely at them, Southern versions are shorter for close quarters combat over the last chicken leg, while northern ones can range from the ground to the chin. And for around $70 through a place creatively titled Karate Mart, you can have your very own razor chain whip. They tout that the razor chain whip, as being unlike any other chain whip in your collection, of which I am sure you, the fancy banana viewer, own many. Instead of a set of loose-fitting links, it features a design of interlocking discs that make it look like a wiggling snake. But if you like the look and feel, as though you may end up hurting yourself in a vigilante-fueled rage while protecting the streets of your suburb, simply do as the website says and use it for display purposes only. Number 14. The Wii Typhius Convertible Push Dagger Daggers are as old as time itself and have been used all through the ages as an effective method of assassination, melee, and general life-taking stuff. So it only makes sense that you should own one, right? This thing is a knife that can switch between a folding push dagger and a fixed blade. The unique design of the dagger is said to feel great in your hands, while also providing a secure grip so that you don't lop off any of your important parts. It is really fun to play with. Um, really, really cool design. Very, very unique. So. It might be small and heavy, but its quick transition into a close quarters combat knife makes it a popular option with tactical aficionados and cat burglars alike. It's also ironically named after a mythical Greek giant, even though it's a tiny and gimmicky blade, so that's a fun one. Number 13. The Cold Steel Guardian Sword Cane 
Here's one that you have probably seen in movies in one form or another, and makes for a great addition to the arsenal of any would-be assassin who is posing as an old and feeble geriatric. A sword cane offers you the ability to protect yourself while also looking stylish, and the Cold Steel Guardian sword cane has spared no expense in offering a deadly weapon that also features the feeling of opulence and posh stylings. In insertion with this sword cane, you're punching a big hole. The Cold Steel 911 cane does something that nobody expected or likely even asked for. It combines personal stylings with a pistol. The grip on the cane resembles that of a classic 911 firearm, which is quite inconspicuous, I'm sure. In addition to its stock pistol grip, you can also easily modify it to fit the grip of your own 1911 that you probably just have laying around as one does. Like myself, this cane features a strong and sturdy shaft and with a quick tug, it's ready for action. But unlike myself, it's made out of a high-grade and durable steel, and when needed, you can fool your would-be attacker, opponent, or in-laws into only thinking that you have a gun, when in fact you can produce a sword to swiftly deal with them in a silent manner. These canes, and many like them, are available online. Just check out your locality to make sure that they're legal where you live. Number 12. The M-Tech Shuriken Throwing Cards Shurikens, also known as ninja stars to the less educated of you out there, are a thing that have been around for all of time that people have been ending each other with. In myth and lore, they have been primarily a weapon for ninjas in 80s action films, and as a child of the 80s, we all wanted one, and when we finally procured the item, you can imagine how quickly a trip to the hospital was in order. But much like my fascination with all things ninja as a child, I was also more fascinated with magicians and card magic. Now, I have finally found a company that combines both of my childhood loves, leaving me only to need a pair of Zubaz pants, a neon-colored animal print jumper, and a giant boombox to complete my nostalgic trip back in time. The M-Tech Shuriken throwing cards blend the lethality of ninja stars with the elegance of card magic for the more discreet assassin or the short-tempered magician with a grudge against their assistant. Made out of stainless steel, each of these throwing cards is made to look like and represent a regular deck of poker cards, while also offering sharp blades on all four edges. More than likely meant to be a novelty for your existing collection of cards or strange weapons that you'll never use, these cards still make for a very cool look and conversation piece, and are modestly priced at the same time, if you enjoy that sort of thing. Number 11. The Xbow Alligator 2. The X-Bow Alligator 2 is a crossbow that has gained attention for its innovative design and impressive features. Designed by an Austrian company, X-Bow, one of the key features of the Alligator 2 is its bullpup design, where the trigger mechanism is placed forward of the bowstring. It's a user-friendly design that allows for quick and precise aiming when you're out hunting or pretending to fight off zombies in a hit television show, but fret not! The Alligator 2 comes equipped with advanced safety features, which includes an anti-dry fire mechanism that prevents the crossbow from firing without an arrow loaded in it. Additionally, the Expo Alligator 2 features a Picatinny rail system, allowing its users to customize their crossbow with various accessories such as scopes, red dot sights, or tactical lights. And whether you're a seasoned hunter or a target shooting enthusiast, the Expo Alligator 2 offers you the ability to shoot arrows with a great pleasure while also looking pretty cool as you do it. Number 10. The Grimberg FSC Carbine When I was a child, I really wanted a BB gun or a pellet gun. I grew up in a rural area where hunting and the like was rather common, and wanting to explore the world of firearms, it seemed that, at a young age, having one of these less lethal weapons was only natural. In those days, you could order something COD, which stands for cash on delivery, and so one day I got into a catalog and did just that. 
Surprisingly, when the delivery guy showed up, he took the cash out of my 10-year-old hands and then he handed me the weapon. Not really much has changed in America since those days when it comes to firearms, but as technology evolves, so does the market for what's called less lethal options. With the current political climate and unfortunate incidents involving police over the last decade or so that's ramped up the emergence of social justice in the spotlight, law enforcement officials are always looking for a much better option. This is where the Grimberg FSC carbine comes into play, a less lethal option for shooting things like paintballs and pepper balls as a form of crime deterrent. This projectile launcher is one of the latest in innovative technologies on the market, and it can be yours for the minuscule price of close to $2,000. Number 9. Black Hornet Foot Spikes there are a lot of classic 1980s action movie ninja weapons on the market that are no doubt inspired by actual weapons and implements of ancient times when such things were needed. That's obvious in the Black Hornet foot spikes, which are exactly what the name would imply. Used on the feet to aid in climbing, stability, and taking the life of someone with a well-placed front kick, these foot spikes are the perfect addition for your ninja cosplay party. Or, you know, for that stability that you need while ice fishing out on a frozen lake. Either way, they are impressive with their spiky stainless steel construction and their ease of use. And the Black Hornets are also surprisingly modestly priced at under $20. I mean, hell, I'll take two of them. Number 8. The ACC Patented Design Sword Umbrella Okay. Much like a sword cane, the sword umbrella is another classic item that's been seen in espionage films and could very well satisfy the James Bond in all of us. Invoking vibes from the classic Batman villain known as the Penguin, this sword umbrella is perfect for those quick assassination needs or even being a good citizen and picking up garbage as you stroll down the street with it on your arm like some kind of 1950s dancer. Sure to both keep you dry and safe from any would-be muggers, the sword umbrella features a 10-inch long surgical grade stainless steel blade with a sharp point for deep penetration. It's even been tested out on a steel helmet and suffered no deformations or damage, so that's something. The manufacturers say that the thing can easily be stored in your glove box, briefcase, or even in your trench coat. So they have clearly spent an incredible amount of time considering all of the murders they could possibly imagine. And in case you're still on the fence, yes, it does come with full and complete instructions. Number 7. The Enforcer Tactical Gauntlet Now here's one for all of you Assassin's Creed enthusiasts out there in the form of the Enforcer Tactical Gauntlet. This easily concealed tactical gauntlet fits very well under your sleeves and, in an instant, you can take out an adversary and they will never ever see it coming. This thing comes armed with razor sharp hidden blade in the style of the character from the video game and in addition also features two penetrating throwers that will make you ready for anything. With an easily attachable nylon and velcro construction, you'll be able to take to the streets vigilante style in no time, no doubt impressing all of your friends down at the comic book shop while also feeling badass as you drink espresso at that out-of-the-way hipster coffee shop that you go to because you refuse to support the so-called man and get the easy option at the chain store. Because really, who else would something like this be for other than grown men who live in their mother's basement playing video games all day while complaining that they can't find a job and bitching about how their streaming channel on Twitch didn't take off the way that they thought it would? Ha! <laughs> but then again, Maybe I'm just an old cynical curmudgeon. Let me know what you think about it all in the comment section down below. Number 6. The Cold Steel Chaos Double Edge Now for a weapon that combines the modern stylings of a knife with a melee weapon that's banned in many places. But at least it looks cool. The Chaos Double Edge from Cold Steel makes for a high-quality blade, desired by military, law enforcement, and your 12-year-old brother who is way into World of Warcraft. Inspired by World War trench knives of the 20th century, this updated concept features a 7.5-inch blade for getting stabby, knuckle duster brass knuckles for getting punchy, and a skull crusher pommel for getting smashy. Which protects the fingers 
Stabby, punchy, and smashy. Ah, oh, my favorite combination of things. It also comes with a nice sheath to strap it to your belt and intimidate your friends with, along with your loved ones. The Chaos Double Edge offers the perfect blending of safety and security with the easy ability to hurt someone in a really bad way if needed. Number 5. The Coin Claw. This one is from Surge Knife Co. and this is the Coin Claw. When it comes to craftsmanship and the world of unique knives, the name of Sergei Panchenko is rather well known amongst enthusiasts. With a mind for aesthetics like no other, he makes some of the most unique and brilliant pieces that money can buy, and that shows with the Pachinko Coin Claw. One of his most iconic designs, the Coin Claw is made out of titanium, and it's small enough to be confused for a regular old-sized coin and carries the lethality that's needed in a quick self-defense situation. The surprisingly deadly blade is deployed with a flick of a thumb, and the device is easily reached within your pocket, attached to a keychain, or even carried on a lanyard. It makes this coin knife a great addition for the discreet and easy carrying of self-defense offerings, and an unexpected advantage in situations where you may feel as though a knife is just too cumbersome. In addition to lethal items like this, Sergei also enjoys manufacturing watches and other accessories. But just be forewarned, his designs are so popular that there's often a long wait list to get them. Number 4. EDC Outdoor Survival Paracord For what reason in the world that a paracord bracelet would end up on a list of self-defense items that are too powerful is well beyond me, but there you go. I don't come up with a list. I just say the words that are put in front of me. There's not really anything at all that's too powerful or next level about this item, and it's such a common thing that you can actually find it on the shelves of any discount shopping center, camping store, and third-rate knockoff website that you could imagine. Featuring a length of paracord braided into bracelet form, along with a compass, a mini survival knife, and sometimes other things like fishing line, floss picks, and fire starters, these paracord survival bracelets can come in quite handy in a situation where you may get stranded on a hike or a camping trip and need to go all bear grillis and drink your own piss while waiting to be rescued. But let's face the real truth, you're never ever going to do that. There's no internet or Starbucks in the wilderness, and you would be hard pressed to try and survive for more than 10 minutes without the ability to scroll through TikTok while complaining about how long your DoorDash food order is taking. So like many others, you can look hip while wearing this miniature survival kit on your wrist as you take your kids to the soccer game, buy your khakis at the Gap, and complain about how there's never anything to watch despite being subscribed to every single streaming service available. Number 3. The Ridge Runner Key Folding Knife now for another mediocre and boring item that's definitely not powerful at all. The Ridge Runner Key Folding Knife retails for close to $20 when you can get the exact same thing in knockoff form at a discount store for around $3. But anyways, this item is exactly as the name would imply. A blade that's hidden inside of what looks like a key and it's easily taken with you and hangs on your key ring for stealthy carrying of an item that's more than likely to open and stab you in the leg than it is to defend you in any real situation involving a need. Made of anodized aluminum with no apparent locking mechanism. It's thumb operated, so it's got that little locking tab right here, so you push that down to unlock it. It's likely to close on your fingers, giving you a nice gash, before bending and never being able to be closed again. But at least it comes in a cool black finish, and you can get three of them. Did someone say stocking stuffers? Number 2. The Schrade SCH 111 Karambit um, today we got a Schrade neck knife, another karambit. Originally designed to be a small-scale agricultural sickle to rake out roots, gather threshing, and plant rice in Asia, somewhere along the way, the karambit became a deadly weapon of tactical elegance. It's still used today in agriculture and other laboring trades, but its reputation for being an easy-to-wield blade for combat has made it a sought-after item for those who have made need such an implement for close quarters combat. Stylized with a short curved blade at the end of a handle that comes equipped with a finger ring for enhanced grip, it can be just as easily used to end someone's life as it can be to open your latest Amazon package. The origins of the blade were not always for combat though, as the blade was originally said to be more straight but 
Eventually, being inspired by the claws of a tiger, Tribes began to turn its blades curved for multiple purposes. As its popularity would rise, it would see widespread distribution into armies and militia groups and other organizations as an addition to things like swords, spears, and other blades. These days, the blade can actually still be found within some tribes' defense arsenals, as well as being used in ceremonial Indonesian martial arts. Today, Western versions are a far cry from the originals of back in the day, with many versions being oversized in order to accommodate American hands and even featuring foldable blades for easy transport. This version from Shrade comes with a sheath and even a length of paracord so that you can look like a complete psycho and carry it around your neck. Number 1. The Pepper Ball Blast Pepper spray has long been a go-to for self-defense. These days it comes in many forms, with the most popular versions being small enough to fit in one's purse or even strapped to a keychain. We've seen it used in law enforcement, more so in places where guns don't exist, and even in huge form as a bear spray for wilderness enthusiasts. It is a pretty cut-and-dry method that works in its form as a sprayer and doesn't really need to be fixed or changed. However, we do live in a society where not everyone adheres to those thoughts, and that's why we have the Pepper Ball Blast. What I have is was simply referred to as the Pepper Ball Blast. This cumbersome-looking handheld tube is said to be safer and more effective than your traditional pepper spray, featuring a CO2 cartridge and a loadable pepper ball ammunition round. You simply point it in the direction it needs to shoot, press a button, and it fires a spray of deterrent at the appropriate pressure, even on a windy day. However, at 6 inches, the device is longer than even a traditional cigar, and unlike something that fits in your handbag or on a keychain, it may well make it look like you're happy to see someone at all times in your pocket if you catch my drift. To me, it seems like carrying this thing around for daily errands and nights out on the town would be more of a bear than transporting a knife. But on the bright side, at least there's an arrow on the barrel, so you know which way to point the thing and you don't accidentally shoot yourself in the face in the heat of a close situational conflict. That's much better than having a clearly visible spray nozzle that unmistakably points one way with a button over it. Well, that's all I have for you today from the dangerous world of janky self-defense gadgets. Which of these objects would make you feel more safe? And do you have any crazy ideas to improve them? Let me know in the comments down below. You should also be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.